Good morning everyone. I am at Birchwall Farm in Wrentham, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflowers 101, episode 16. Today we are looking for bird's foot trefoil. Here is the bird's foot trefoil. Common nicknames are bird foot, deer vetch, cat's clover, bacon and eggs, and ground honeysuckle. It can be confused with butter and eggs. It is in the pea family. It is perennial and herbaceous. This is a really small flower. My camera's having a tough time focusing. You might be able to see those red tinge veins there. That's how they got the nickname bacon and eggs. Pardon if you hear any noise. I'm on the edge of a parking lot. Bird's foot trefoil is an irregular flower and it is like a pea. It has a slipper shape to it and the color is bright yellow and orange. They are a half inch long. It grows in small umbels at the end of the branches. It is a low growing clover like plant. It blooms in the summertime from May through August. Here are the leaves. The color is green. There are three clover like leaflets from the short stems and there are two leaflets at the base of each stem. The leaves are a three quarter inch long. The leaves are compound, alternate and entire. The stem is a green color. It can be laying along the ground or partially upright. It is smooth and slightly hairy. It grows 12 to 20 inches tall and the root is a taproot. Here you can get a good look at the leaves. The seeds are not ready yet. They do have a one inch seed pod that grows in clusters and it resembles a bird's foot. The pod is brown to black. The seeds are rounded one inch long and there are 25 seeds per pod. Habitats are roadsides, lawns, waste areas, open fields, farm fields, and open disturbed areas. It likes sun to part shade and the soil can be dry to moist and it can handle drought conditions. Bird's foot trefoil is non-native and it is an introduced flower to New England. It is invasive. It forms dense mats, choking and shading out the light for the native plants. Pollinators. It's difficult to get inside to collect the pollen or the nectar. There are only certain bees, like honeybees, that can get in. There are also some caterpillars that will eat the green leaves. I hope you have a chance to get out and find this cute little flower. Even though it is invasive, it is pretty. So you can find it between May in August. I'll have all the information in the about section. Also there will be a glossary of all the terms that I used in this video. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.